Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Um, today it is um, a program I'm calling What's Going On at Brighton and Hove uh, FC. Brighton FC, sorry. Um, now today I want to talk to you about the new club we signed up last night or early last evening um, and what it could possibly mean for the club uh, guys you should know what to do by now but anyway subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the information I found out about him that he is 29 years old centre back he did come from a free transfer um, he, he's 6 foot 3 so if you imagine I'm 6 4, 6 5 semi in real life if you haven't then obviously now know how tall I am he's a bit shorter than me but anyway uh, he did start making his professional appearance in 2007 um so you know he's uh been playing over 10 years at professional level uh he just missed out on the brazil world cup squad uh after breaking each foot just shortly after the tournament started and he has made the 30 uh praise squad for russia this year for the world cup um, funny enough I'm going into the England Nigeria game there will be a vlog on my channel for that um, and obviously I might if he does play I'll try to get some off the ball footage for you so you can see what he's like off the ball as well as on it um, but what do I think it means for the club and what how good do I think he's going to be I think he's going to be alright you know um, I think I've also read that he has made 14 appearances in Europe uh, for certain clubs. Um, now I know there's a lot of rumours saying that Colin Goldstein could be leaving. Um, there is also a lot of rumours that Lewis Dunk that could be the odd big company for him. I haven't seen that yet so that's going to be an interesting one over the next couple of uh, weeks at least if I think we're going to hear anything about them um, well done to the under 23s for getting promoted as well so for the under 23s they'll be playing the likes of Man United Man City, Liverpool and all that but well done to you guys anyway uh, I saw the last bit of your final game I must admit you did play well um, but back to his defender I've got a funny feeling he might sneak straight into the first squad um, now only person I could really see coming out is obviously Shane Duffy um, now I know a lot of you will disagree I think Shane and Dunk have got a good partnership between them um, but I think Shane Duffy nearly got caught out a couple of times and we're also taking this defender on for the future as well um, our first signing qu quite quick as well I must admit for uh, Brighton anyway um, obviously last season we were waiting for uh, our first signing for quite a while in the summer window uh, which I believe was Sitka uh, maybe Pastor Grove, I can't quite remember but if you can remember put it down in the comments below I'm interested to know if you still remember um, I'm enjoying this off-season off period I'm already getting ready for next season uh, thumbnails and all that alike um, so don't forget I'm going to the England Nigeria game keep an eye out on my channel for that vlog I try to cut some off the wall footage of our defender 
as well as defense obviously you'll be able to see it anyway um anyway guys you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching and ciao for now